name one thing about the Statue of Liberty that you know that I don't. Uh, she was a gift of friendship from... K Kathy. <laughs> we got her right after... Kathy the... didn't want her anymore. Uh, what does she stand for? Because Kathy took her chair. <laughs> Boy, that Kathy, huh? What a hoot. She's not real, genius. I made her up. <laughs> I'm so smarter than you. You are. You really are. <laughs> yes, sir. I did, sir. I found something out, sir. Well, Farkle, at least you have a heritage. I'm Riley McCheese. What could be worse than that? There are worse things than that, Riley. You ready to share something with us, Farkle? Not yet, sir. I don't have it all yet. I need to dig deeper. More to discover. A lot more. So, turns out I have a relative from Denmark. Hey, you're a little Danish. A little Danish. I found lots of minkuses. Minkai. Living in Copenhagen in Denmark. The mystery is that I can't find my great-grandfather's birth records. So? So, he was the first one who left Denmark, came to America, and started the American Minkai team. <laughs> I want to find out more about him. I want to know what made him come here. Yeah, that's been on my mind lately. I can imagine it, Riley. Why did you need to leave your country? I'm sorry. Okay, why are you being so quiet, Farco? It's making me really upset. Really? No! Like it. Peaceful. <laughs> yeah, talk, Farco. This isn't like you. I'm not really sure anymore what's like me. What's the matter with you? No, I get it. It's just hard when you look at all of these booths to not picture yourself living a different type of life, right? That's what you're talking about. Okay. Well, while all of you guys were at your booths of your countries, I went looking for the America booth. Guess what? They don't have one. That's the end of today's cultural day celebration. We hope you learned something about somewhere else. Arrivederci, sayonara, and for all you native New Yorkers, get out of here. <laughs> Last chance, Fargo. You want to go find the Denmark booth? Yeah, let's give Fargo a chance to hear some stories about his people. That's okay. I, I think I know too many stories already. The only one who hasn't told us anything today. Yeah, I mean, we know everyone's story but yours. And that doesn't work in this group. Farco. My great-grandfather left Denmark and came to America right after World War II. Just him? I think he was the only one left. Well, what about the others before him? I don't, I don't think they were named Mikas. Well, who were they? I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll ever know. There aren't birth records. All I know is that during World War II, he was adopted by a Christian family named Minkus in Denmark who wanted to help him. Help him what? Help him live. Your great-grandfather was Jewish. Sometimes it's real hard when you find out your story. My whole family. Yeah. I'm here if you ever want to talk. Me too. I found out about these wonderful people called Christian Rescuers. They saved babies by taking them in when the rest of the world. Thanks. I'm glad you found your story, Riley. I'm happy you all did. My story will be about how lucky we are to live in a place that allows you to come here so you could be whoever you are. But that's all I can really tell you about my heritage right now because I'm still finding out who I am.